Indeed, lots happening. Now, last weekend, our country's best chefs and restaurants were honored at the Eat Out Awards. And while the life's work of some was celebrated, the dream of another was realized when one aspiring young man won the 2015 Taste Bursary, and with it, the opportunity to study to become a chef himself. Take a look. Meet Toza Mile, a cleaner at New Media Publishing, home of the award-winning Taste magazine. Washing the dishes used to create the breathtaking food images from the magazine was for him just one step closer to his lifelong dream of becoming a chef. The day I realized that I want to be a chef, it was the day when my mother, after a Sunday lunch in 1996, I still remember I was so young at that time, and I was 17 years old. So when my mother uh, told me that, um, my son, uh, you've cooked so very nice lunch. Never ever stop cooking again. I will eat even more of your food. So from that day onwards, I realized that I wanted to be a chef. I've got the gift of cooking. After 16 years of dreaming and a job as a lab assistant, Tozi had no idea that cleaning would lead to cooking. Toza Mile's dream is to one day open his own restaurant, serving a taste of African food. And with so much passion, we're sure his dream will become a reality. So joining us in the kitchen live on your Feel Good Breakfast show, a very excited Toza Mile Mgumani, who's the winner of the 2015 Taste Bursary, as well as Abigail Donnie, the food editor of Uwe's Taste magazine. Great to have both of you here a week after we had a fantastic event. Dude, I must just put my hand out and congratulate you once Thanks, more. Man. Tell me this, I mean, we, we were looking at your life story right now and what you're busy with, and now you're getting the opportunity to realize your dream. What does it mean to you to win this bursary? Uh, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a life opportunity for me. It, it's, it's a dream come true. It's, it's, this, is a, this is a door open yeah. for one to go and be uh, an, an owner of a restaurant. That's, that's a, my main own goal yeah. and I'm aiming to be there. And uh, uh, believe me, uh, I, I am here to, to bring the fantastic taste. Oh. The taste of Africa. Mm. I am here. I am Come here on. to do that. Come I on. Here. I like that already, Abigail. From the get-go, Tazamile is just already there in the future. It but, warms my heart big time. <laughs> but when we look at this bursary, what exactly does it entail for him? Well, the Woolworths Taste Bursary Award, just it's there to motivate, it's there to educate. And without that, we, we don't grow. Yes. So it's an amazing opportunity. So Tozi will be kind of nurtured and educated at Silwood Cookery School mm. in Rondebosch for a year. Oh, wow. Where he will learn all the basics, all the techniques, the flavor combinations, everything that will instill him to become one amazing chef one day. Yeah, and now, hopefully one day a future Eat Out Award winner, right? Oh, that would be amazing, yes, absolutely. That's that's what it's all about. Wow. You know, it gives him the platform to to grow and to shine and to, to actually realize his dreams. Tell me this, man, when you, when you went back home, and uh, you told everyone after that event that evening, told everyone at home about what, what had just happened, you've just won this bursary, what did they say? They couldn't wait for me to get at home. <laughs> <laughs> did you call them while you were there? <laughs> while I was there, when they get at home, it was uh, it's full of joy. It was, everybody was so excited, and everybody was so happy for me. And I was, I was crying all the way. Oh, and man. Uh, uh, it's just the first time I hear it. The man, the man does cry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Real men crying. do cry. I was crying, and I was, I was so over the moon. I was excited. I was excited, man. I was, uh, Tell me this. You know what I'm... Yeah, because now that you've already taken your mind and you've, you've taken it to the future, thinking about your future restaurant you might own, what kind of food can we expect to taste at, at uh, Tozam Mila's restaurant? You, you see that Mosho? Yes. With the kind of a different flavor. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 come and taste, man. Yeah. Come and I can't wait to put it practically. Uh -huh. Come and taste it at that, that, that bubble differently. Uh -huh. Because it's going to be done differently this time around. That's true. I, mean, I, I, I haven't had bubble in a long time. Come, come, man. At least you need, you need, you need to get some little bit, uh, you know. Do I? Uh, you know that, that, that pub is going to give you a little bit do, of a... Uh, do you I know, need some pub? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> man, I'm loving it. Umushu, pop, all those African flavors brought to you. Fine dining style. I mean, imagine that, right? Main course, umushu, and like some meat, some lamb chops there. Could In a very different, inspiring way. And I think that's the storytelling of what South Africa is unique for. Yes. You know, and I don't think we celebrate it enough, what our heritage is. And so it's up to Tozi to take it Dude, to I another level. Dude, I can't I'm very excited. I'm going to come. I'm going to be there. Listen, you were saying uh, your family is watching, right? Yes. So yes, look, yes. look at that camera over there. Hello, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> All the cousins. Hello, Cecilia. Hi. 
I love it. Man, feel good vibes on this Monday morning. Abigail, congratulations and thank good you, luck thanks, to you, man. You. It's going to be absolutely thanks. wonderful thanks, to see you thanks, prosper bro. in the future. Woo! Hey, Leanne, what's happening? <laughs>